Welcome to A Great Cooker. I'm Sophronia. Today I'm going to show you how to clean some, clean your cast iron skillets. And also show you that it's pretty easy. I have three here that have been used recently and they're dirty. This one, this is my largest, largest cast iron. I don't know what brand this is. This was given to me by a friend years ago. But I have over the years seasoned this myself and it's now a very well seasoned pan and this morning for breakfast I cooked some potato and eggs in here and as you can see there's just a bit of egg well actually the eggs not even sticking really it's just a bit that didn't make it into my bowl and then this cast iron skillet I have right here my daughter told me that she cooked a couple of hamburger frozen hamburger patties in here and as you can see it is greasy and there's that I don't know what I call it hamburger sludge but we'll get all of that out and then in my smallest cast iron skillet I made my husband some fried sausage and out of the three this one actually appears to have a bit of food stuck to the surface of the cast iron. See where it's dark? And it looks like that's where there's, where that was a bit of sticking. So we'll take care of that. There's a couple of tools that I use for the job. This is my cabinet uh, underneath my stovetop where I keep a few of my cast iron. Make sure to subscribe because I have lots of upcoming cast iron cooking videos. I'm gonna be using my wok my skillets and every other cast iron thing that I own. And I keep my little chain mail washcloth, for lack of a better phrase. I keep my little chain mail washcloth down here. And that is one of the handy tools that I use. And in this drawer, I keep these scrapers that I bought from Amazon. I will leave a link to these. Actually, there are four of them, but I used one in hot cast iron and it melted. So probably don't do that. But I'll show you, and I kind of slightly melted this one, see? I didn't realize. But um, let me show you what we do with these. I'm going to start with this biggest skillet that I have that had the eggs and the potato in it. And it's not really going to require much, but I'm gonna run my water until it is hot actually like as hot as possible and then i'm going to take my dishcloth and just wipe it clean and as you can see this is very clean and now we're going to dry it it's also hot because i used the hottest water that i could I have this clean dish towel, but I'm just going to use this. And make sure you dry the entire skillet thoroughly. Now my skillet's still pretty hot, like I can still feel heat on it from my extremely hot water. So I'm going to go ahead and do the oil treatment. And I'm using 100% vegetable oil. Ha, huh, look the back bottom of that was leaking. Obviously I need to clean my oil bottle. You just need a bit of oil. I'm just trying to put a fresh coat of oil on the cast iron skillet and I want this to be a very, very thin coat. So not only am I gonna Put it on the top side all the way around also make sure you get the sides and the bottom as well and if you need to you can just swipe some of that oil that's already in the inside of it and just use that just use that for the sides and the bottom and also the handle what i'm going to do is turn this inside out to a less oily part and I'm going to keep wiping, removing this excess oil until I can't wipe any more oil out of the skillet. 
and then this will be ready for me to cook my next meal. I've wiped all the excess oil off. So this one's good to go. With this pan that has the excessive amount of hamburger grease, I'm first going to scrape and remove as much of this excess grease as I can. It doesn't really appear that much is sticking to this. Let me go ahead and scrape this extra grease. Ugh. Look at all that. I'm going to scrape that into the trash. And then with a couple paper towel, I'm just going to wipe out this excess grease that I wasn't able to scrape out. As you can see, that one's just grease. Nothing is, nothing at all stuck to this one. So what I would do with this one is I would clean it the exact same one way that I cleaned the first one and treat it the same way afterwards. But let me show you the one that had more of a sticking issue. Now with this one, we have a couple options. I can use this scraper and just simply scrape, use a little elbow grease and I can scrape away those stuck parts. And it's not really that hard. I'll do about half of it and show you. I'll do this side. I don't know if you can see it, but like I can just wipe that right away now. All that has been scraped off, but we still have all of this left. And so, like I said, you can use a scraper like this, or you can take this little chainmail washcloth and uh, go ahead and run your hot water in your skillet. And while your water is running, you literally just scrape using this. Let me show you this lifted all of that out. Can you see that? All that black that was stuck to it is completely gone. Also, this skillet is rougher. It has a rougher texture than my first skillet, which after many years, it's very smooth. This is rough. And so if I use paper towel on this, it's gonna leave residue. So if you have a pan like this, you just wanna use something that you to dry, something clean to dry with that's not gonna leave lint. And I'm just using an old clean dish cloth or a dish towel. I'm gonna add the oil just like the other one and wipe it all around and wipe Let's it take off. take a look at the pans now and see how they're looking. They're all ready to go. See that they got a bit of sheen on them from the oil. And each of them literally just took a couple minutes to clean and to treat. And then I'll just put my skillets away so that they'll be ready to go for the next time. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more cast iron skillet cooking videos. Let your light shine in this unknown.